What's up guys? For today naman, we'll have the unit cost analysis for the formworks or kung sa Tagalog naman ay forma. So, uunahin po natin ang footing or yung paan ng poste. Yung kailangan naman nating mga materialis dito ay yung ordinary plywood na 12mm yung kapal, yung kahoy natin, lumber na 2x2, and then yung pako natin na 3 and 1 and 1 half. So, let's start the derivation for the material quantities. For plywood, since na yung BOQ unit natin ay in terms of square meter, we can simply denote that one piece of plywood per 1.22 times 2.44. Ang 1.22 times 2.44 natin is equivalent sa area ng isang plywood. And then, for the lumber naman, let me show you first these drawings. So, ayan. The top view and the side view ng forma sa footing, we will be computing here yung total length na gagamitin natin, which is yung 2 by 2 na lumber. So, the length here is 1 times 2 plus 0.2 times 2. So, that's 2.4 and then i-multiply pa natin ng 4 sides. Yung total length natin is 9.6 meter. So, all in all, halos 10 meters ang length na equivalent naman sa 3.3 pieces of lumber. Let's just say na 3.5 pieces ng lumber kasi ang lumber natin is 3.05 meter or kung sa feet naman is 10 feet kada isang uh, isang piraso ng uh, lumber and then next is kukunin natin ang form area ng isang footing which is yung pares para sa um, dinidirive nating factor. So, yung isang footing has um, 0.2 times 1 times yung 4 sides, it is equal to 0.8 square meter. But, we are not yet finished. In principle, kapag formers kasi, we don't intend to charge a 100% na quantity kasi um, malaking cost pagka ganun. Kaya i-multiply pa natin siya ng, 15, ah, sorry, ng 50% para we can reuse yung forma pagkatapos ma-cure yung nabuhusan na ng konkreto. So, yung sunod naman ay yung sa PACO or Common Wire Nails. Ang factor sa footing is 1 kg per 4 square meter. And then, syempre, idadagdag pa natin yung 5% additional cost for the consumables. For the labor naman, baba tayo dito sa labor. What we will need here is the carpenter at yung helper niya. It's uh, their productivity or its productivity is 1.5 man hour per square meter. So, lipat naman tayo sa isa pang item, which is yung poste natin or column. Yung materials naman na kailangan natin and para dito is um, uh, yung para sa form area, yung para sa forma, at saka yung para sa scaffolding. Uunahin na natin yung para sa forma for plywood. Ganun po ulit. 1 over 1.22 times 2.44. And for the lumber naman, I'll show you ulit these um, drawings. Let's first calculate yung total length ng kahoy. So we have 3 meters times 3 
plus 0.3 times 2. So, yung ano natin, yung, yung minultiply natin sa 3 meter, which is yung 3 pieces nun, and then yung minultiply naman natin sa isa, na 2, yun yung 2 pieces, na yung haba is 0.3. And then, uh, that's equal to 9.6 meter. But, we will have to multiply again into 4 sides, so that will be 38.4 meters. And then, para naman ma-convert into pieces of lumber, uh, we will divide that into 3.05. Yung 3.05 natin, yun yung length ng isang uh, size na ano, na lumber. And that will be 12.59 or let's just say 13 pieces na on every column. And... Uh, next naman is kukunin natin yung uh, para naman sa form area yung uh, lalagyan ng plywood. Um, so ito ulit may papakita kong drawing. So yung computation natin dito it's uh, 0 0.3 times 3 times 4 sides. So, yun yung ano natin, yun yung uh, total area natin sa isang kolom, which is 3.6 square meter. Therefore, ang ilalagay natin sa factor is that yung 13 pieces natin para sa ano, sa, sa yung 13 pieces na lumber over 3.6 para yung ano natin, yung denotation natin is uh, piece per square meter. And then, mamultiply pa natin siya ng 50%. So, yan. Lumabas na na 1.806 yung ano natin, yung factor natin. And then, one, um, one thing, kung mapapansin nyo po, sa kahoy lang ako gumagamit ng 50%, um, bakit hindi rin sa plywood? Well, ang plywood kasi compared with um, lumber, ito ay madaling masira. Kaya, di na siya consider na i -re reuse So, hindi na rin siya consider for the unit costing. Kaya, ang plywood natin, that's 100% uh, ang consideration sa unit costing. And, para naman sa mga pako natin, approximately, it's 1 fourth kilogram or 0 0.25 over 3.6 square meter. Ibig sabihin na 1 fourth kilogram ang gagamitin natin kada isang poste. So, uh, dito naman tayo sa scaffolding. Ito yung medyo challenging pagdating sa ano sa sa unit costing ng uh, ng formworks. For the scaffolding, papakita ko ulit yung uh, drawing so let's first find out yung sa 2 by 2 and again we will calculate here the total length um, dito we will have a separate computation for bracing and then yung sa horizontal supports so unahin natin yung bracing Ang isang piraso ng bracing ay equivalent to one piece of lumber. So, and yung haba niyan ay, as I mentioned earlier, ay 3.05. So, it will be a 3.05 meter times two pieces, kasi dalawa yung ano, sa, yung nandito sa drawing, and then four sides nito. So, it makes 24.4 meter. So, dyan muna yan. Babalikan natin yung 24.4 meter mamaya. So, let's go to the horizontal supports. So, we are going to look into the top view drawing. Dito sa drawing, yung top view. And then yung elevation view. Uh, so, ang reason naman para, para uh, kung bakit tinitingnan natin yung drawing is to accurately count 
kung ilang piraso talaga. So that's 1 meter times 6 pieces times 4 seats na makikita natin dito sa top view and it is equal to 24 meters. And for the other horizontal support naman po, makikita natin dito sa elevation drawing, makakount natin siya. The computation will be 1 meter times 4 pieces times 3 seats and it is equal to 12 meters. And then, may isa pa tayong naiiwan, yung horizontal support na nasa base and then yung nasa topmost. That's only 1 Yung 1 is yung haba, 1 meter, times 4 sides. So, gagamit ulit tayo ng 4 sides. And times 2. Yung times 2 natin, uh, yun yung galing sa ano, yung isa sa base, at then yung isa sa topmost. So, ang ano nyan, ang, it is equal to 8 meters yung haba. So, uh, let's compute for the overall length. Ang, length, ang overall length natin ay 24.4 Babalikan na natin yung kanina Plus 12 Plus 24 Plus 8 So Ang total nyan is 68.4 meters And that is equivalent to 22.43 When we divide that by uh, 3.05 Para makuha natin yung piraso Or We can just say na that's 22.5 pesos sa isang poste. So, next natin is yung para naman sa 2 by 3. Yung kanina natin kinumpute na ano na na uh, number is para sa 2 by 2 by 2 pa lang yun. So, yung 2 by 3 naman, 2 by 3 naman natin is madali lang kasi that's only 4 pieces sa isang poste na ang haba naman ay again, it's 3.05 equivalent sa isang piraso so ang factor natin dyan ay 4 which is in pieces kada isang poste na 3.6 square meter and then multiply natin ulit ng 50% and then dito na tayo sa common nails natin ang common nails natin is ayun, 1 fourth ulit per um, 3.6 square meter. Lastly naman, doon sa dito sa ating consumables, as usual, that's 5% sa naging overall amount ng mga um, direct materials. So, let's go down naman sa ating labor. Yung labor natin is carpenter and then yung helper. And then yung productivity is uh, para to sa ano sa sa pagporma at saka sa scaffolding that's 2 hours per square meter and that's all for our unit cost analysis para sa formworks natin i hope you like this video and then of course don't forget to subscribe here in my channel so thank you and Keep safe everyone.